LOL, BTW, ILY, HMU, WYD. If this texting lingo makes you nervous, don't worry, I'm here to help. I'm Esther Beasley, and this is Sunday School Solutions. BRB. Kids today are being hit by a technology-driven society. This presents a huge challenge for us Sunday School team members. How can we use trendy things to engage our kids in a safe way that they will enjoy? One thing that I've noticed in working with kids is that they know, love, and use social media. And every form of youth-oriented social media has emojis. This is a huge attraction for kids of all ages. So here are three ways you can use emojis to relate with the kids in your Sunday School classrooms. Number one, use a giant emoji to express the feelings of a character in your Bible story. If you're telling a story where the character is sad, like Jonah and the big fish, Nehemiah building the wall, or even blind Bartimaeus, hold up a picture or put one on your PowerPoint screen of a sad emoji and ask, how do you think Jonah felt? This will grab the student's attention because they love emojis and it will help them relate with the character because they too have felt sad. Idea number two, if you do memory verse repetition in your Sunday school class, use emojis to repeat the verse. Hold up a bag with about six different emojis and allow a child to choose one from the bag. Show the kids the emoji and repeat the verse together using this emotion. I'm always surprised that even my fifth grade students love saying the verses when we use the emoji method. Idea number three, introduce your lesson with an emoji. Maybe I'm teaching a story about Daniel in the lion's den or another Bible story when the character gets scared. Start your story by just holding up an emoji and ask the kids to shout out what emoji they think it is. Tell them that a character in the story today will feel like this. Listen closely to see who it is. Using emojis is just one current way to relate with the kids who are growing up in a technology and social media driven culture. For an idea on how to use emojis in your Sunday school small group and different ways on how to incorporate safe and fun things from pop culture into your classes, check out our blog post. Finding ways to add what kids love into your Sunday school classes will help them to love learning about Jesus. Looking for more ideas for your kids' ministry? Go to cefonline.com slash Sunday School.